Positively, Jax, refugees are still continuing to make their way into the United States after fleeing Afghanistan. And some local agencies are working to meet the need and build a safe place for some of those families. Catholic Charities Jacksonville expects about 200 new Afghan refugees between now and next spring, which means the nonprofit will need twice the support to make sure that each family has everything that they need. Joining us this morning to talk about how the community is working together and how you at home can participate in a limited one-time donation matching challenge, Lori Weber with the organization. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me. Sure, certainly. So we have covered the crisis in Afghanistan for several months now, and we knew that there were going to be refugees coming to the United States, many of them already here, more making their way here. A lot of them apparently going to be settling right here in Northeast Florida. Correct. Yes, Catholic Charities, as a matter of fact, has really been relocating uh, refugees for almost 40 years. So for us in our local community, we're trying to make sure that we can resettle the new refugees coming that are escaping extreme danger. And uh, so we're doing our best to find them housing, find them careful, wraparound services as well as housing them. Mm. And certainly that can be a tall task because it's, it's very difficult to have people coming from, uh, you know, a, a different side of the world with different cultures, with a different <laughs> language, and then having to, to settle here. And that's where Catholic Charities and other great organizations in our community, because it's not just yours, uh, right. can help every step of the way. Absolutely. I mean, we are all working in tandem, and that's the beautiful thing about it. There are a number of, of organizations that are working with us. Most particularly, we are lucky enough and blessed enough to be able to establish and work with these refugees by providing wraparound services, as many of our partner agencies are doing, teaching them how to speak English, helping them find employment, making sure that they have all of the documentations they need to resettle into the community in a way that they feel comfortable and can make that that change in their lives many of whom come with the clothes on their back mm. so we're doing everything that we can collectively and certainly catholic charities is doing so we're very lucky and Lori, I know that there is a big need. Obviously, donations are needed to help with this continuing process, but you have been blessed with some already, including some laptops and a matching grant. Can you talk about that? Absolutely. I was just at an event on Friday with Jinko Solar, who is really a change maker in the community. Not only have we partnered with them in terms of the laptops and especially the high speed internet that they provided for our refugees, but most importantly, I think they're hiring and have hired our refugees and claim that they are some of the hardest workers quick to learn and really having an impact on their place of work. So we are just thrilled about that. And finally, if we can talk about how people at home can make a difference, can chip in to help out so many of these families that just really need that helping hand. Absolutely. Anyone, please go to our website, which is ccbjax.org. We have a matching gift um, out there right now by the Chartrand Foundation. They will match any gift given to Catholic Charities to be used for the refugees to purchase whatever is needed and to get them settled as quickly and simply as possible. So please visit our website. The donations go directly to the refugees and the Chartrands and other organizations have made every bit of difference and they have allowed us really to do this, this resettling seamlessly. Lori Weber with Catholic Charities Jacksonville, thanks for all that you and your team do. Thank you so much.